Well, many of you saw it right here on CBS3, a big night of reality television. Just moments ago, the 20th season of Big Brother crowned another winner. Casey came out on top, winning the $500,000 grand prize. Earlier tonight, a new season of Survivor kicked off. It is David versus Goliath. The crew, the crew includes some castaways with unique personalities. And speaking of castaways, we caught up with the winner of last season's Survivor, Ardmore's Wendell Holland. Eyewitness News anchor Rahel Solomon went to find out how his life has changed since that big win. Working at his custom furniture shop, B. Even Maniak, with his best friends. These days, life is looking more like normal for 34 year old Wendell Holland. It's still feeling, however, surreal. I'm still off of this high from winning. As Survivor Season 37 debuts here on CBS, the Philadelphia native and Season 36 winner remembers his experience. As a fan, you look at the show and you're like, man, I would love to be on it. But then actually getting out there starving, not having a bed or a bathroom or anything, that's, it's impossibly difficult. From start to finish, the challenge took about 39 days. I was surviving off of like snails and slugs and the occasional crab. Um, sometimes we got a food re reward, but usually we didn't eat much. Window. His efforts and strategy paid off. He won the million dollar prize. He tells me he invested that money. This is the authentic one that I actually wore on the island. Now he's back home and back at work. I come back from that and we obviously have an influx of orders. Um, more people know about me, but then my time is a little different now. It's spread a little thinner, so I have to really manage my time. I try to do a lot of charity work or raising money for whatever charities I can. So I travel a lot to, like I've been to Ohio, Orlando, Dallas, a bunch of places to do these, Jamaica to do these charities. He also says he's looking forward to being a Survivor fan again, watching every Wednesday night in the comfort of his own home, eating whatever he chooses. Rahel Solomon, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, he's My probably going to, I mean, as great as it is to be on the show, <laughs> it's probably real great to watch it from home after you want. Hello. <laughs> yeah. No doubt Absolutely. about that. Absolutely. Knowing just, what they're going through and just being like, well, I'm on my couch. Yeah. Right. I feel great. Right. Yeah.